After testing multiple different docking stations, I have decided to install this one on my studio. What is really my experience with this one and why, even if it's not perfect, is now the closest to the experience that I wanted. So if you want to know that and much more, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Medpack. And if you love tech and if you love discounts, this is the place for you. So when we look about the build constructions, I really like it, but I like that is a little bit heavier. But one thing that I really like about this device is the fact that all this material here, all this surface is in rubber. So no risk to have scratches on your Mac. But the things that I like about this docking station, they don't finish here. I really like the fact that everything is in one place and basically this sits under my Mac, saving me some space on my desk. And another thing that I really like is the fact that now it allows me to do these videos without running so many different dongles connected to my computer. So it makes all this setup a little bit more minimalist. And another thing that is important to talk about is the fact that this docking station is universal. So in other words, even if you change your Mac, you'll be able to continue to run this one on your new MacBook Pro. So when we'll talk about the ports, you have here multiple ones. So you have a USB 10 gigahertz, two USB-Cs, one of 10 gigahertz and one of 10 gigahertz, but allows 20 watts of power. And also you have your SD and micro SD cards. And let's not forget about the mini jack. But something that I was not really happy about it is the fact that the mini jack was not allowing me, for example, to pass sound to my Mac. So I was always forced to connect my microphone directly through the Mac. So something just to point it out. When we talk about the SD and micro SD card, don't expect the same speeds that you'll find on your Mac. But if you don't have one, definitely is a plus to have it on your docking station. Inside the box, you are also going to find this heavy duty cable that will allow you to connect directly your Mac to the docking station. When we talk about how to connect your displays, you'll be able to connect through display one in HDMI and the display two, you'll be able to connect through HDMI two or also through display port. And as you can see, unfortunately, I'm not able to connect my Mac display through my docking station. And for that, I need to run a cable that will connect directly to my MacBook Pro. And to be able to use all these connections here and the ones on the front, I'm basically doing a connection between my studio display and this docking station using the port host too. So let's continue to focus on the rest of the connections that you have here on the back. You have an internet port that you can obviously use. You have also another mini jack, but unfortunately this one also will not allow you to connect a microphone and uh, basically run a microphone through these doors. So the same issue that you have on the front, you have your charging and after you'll find two USB 3 and two USB 2. But if you are like me and you want to do video content, and you need to connect, for example, a camera through USB 3.0, it will not recognize that port as a 3.0 for video. So because of that, I'm still forced to use one of the USB-C ports that I have on my Mac to be able to run the camera that I have on the top. And before you ask yourself if I try to test these ports here and see if I could connect my camera from the top, yeah, I was not able and that was a big bummer for me. And I know that majority of you guys will not need to basically run a camera and microphones connected to your computer to film videos on YouTube or on Twitch, but maybe some of you will need it. So it's important that you know that you are not able to do that with this docking station. But not everything is bad. And I really like the fact that this docking station allows me to have a much clearer desk than with any other docking station that I tried until now. And the second thing that I never thought that I needed is the fact that I have a button to turn on and turn off peripherals. So in other words, I can turn off this keyboard and my cat will not turn on my display during the night because she decided to come here on the top to sleep. And as a content creator, what I wish to see more in here and the first thing will be more USB and USB ports because definitely that's something that we are never satisfied because we are always testing things or I have more ideas of connecting more devices to my setup, so definitely a plus. Another thing that I would like to see removed is this logo because in other words, it just make it look cheap 
and that's definitely something that I don't like to see on my studio. And obviously I would like to see the possibility to fix the issues with the 3.0 so videos will be recognized by the 3.0 ports and also the possibility to connect there a microphone as an external microphone, something that is also not possible to do here. And this is definitely a personal preference, but I like to see that the next generation allows my Mac to be completely vertical and not slightly going further to the back. Overall, my final thoughts about this docking station is positive for multiple reasons. Like I said, I have run solutions that I couldn't upgrade my computer without buying a new one. I had other solutions that will not allow me to have so much things connected to it. And I had to have multiple different dongles connected to my computer. And here allows me to run less cables on the background of my computer. So definitely a plus. But I continue to think that a perfect docking station for content creators like me is still not out and I hope that Towbone one or other companies will be able to bring to us something that is a little bit more complex to those heavy users like me that they need multiple different plugs that allows to connect multiple different devices like a camera or a microphone and making the docking station the overall solution for all our problems. I think I found another way to use this docking station is by having my two discs here on the top and will save me even more space on the back. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you next week to talk a little bit more about tech and other products that we need in our home.